I took a drug and felt all those things that I wanted to feel. So that became normalized in my life fairly quickly. By the time I was uh, 19, I was uh, drinking and drugging every day. And then I moved on to other substances. And those became predominant and I stopped taking drugs to feel good and I started taking drugs to feel bad, if that makes any sense. And uh, it didn't seem to matter. And then I lost my way totally by the time I was 24. And so I self-diagnosed as an addict. Uh, whatever that was in my mind at the time is what they wrote about in the newspapers. My friend turned to me and said, you know, those addicts in the paper, that's you and I. And so we became something other than ourselves. And I had done things by then, things I'd never thought I would do. I had betrayed everybody I knew. I had stolen from virtually everybody I knew. And uh, mostly I had betrayed myself and uh, smiled deeply out of control. I ended up weighing 125 pounds at one point. And so I remember distinctly the time I came up to my friend's home and I heard the door lock in the inside and I called out, hey, it's me. And they said, yes, we know. That's why we locked the door. I still thought I was who I hoped to be. And they saw me as how I was. It was only through the help and compassion of others that I recovered my sense of well-being. And that first year was the fact that I ran into a whole lot of people who believed that I could get better. They didn't know if I was going to, but they believed in the possibility of my recovery. And they wouldn't talk about the odds or the chances or the likelihood. They would just stay in that one place. We believe you can have a good life. And because of that, I believe greatly in the ability of others to get well. I think the reason I'm so well today is beyond abstinence. I moved into purpose and meaning in my life and to make sense of my past and find the value. The most important thing I would say to anybody is that hope is not unfounded and hope has to be uh, visual, it has to be verbalized. We must stand up and say people get better and I support people seeking recovery. I want you to know that if today you're suffering from some of these disorder and you don't think you can get better, your mind tells you you can't get better, I disagree. I want you to disagree with your mind and agree with me. I believe there's hope for you. Please join us. Imagine what would happen if you were wrong and we were right. Mm -hmm.